Well, uh, here we are again at the FUBAR Institute. I promised a little bit about getting the valves out, but I lost the goddamn tool. <laughs> How can you lose something in your own workspace? And after two days I found it, so now I can remove the little... I don't know how you call it, but can you see them? The small valve lockers. Of course. First you get this thing. The valve seat. And in the valve seat there is the shim plate. Which you can remove, measure and adjust for the valve clearance. Once you remove these two, you see, will see this. On how to remove that you need this tool. Of course I have removed the camshafts to get at this point. Normally the cylinder head is on the engine and the engine is in the car and you have to use another tool to get to this shim plate. But that's another story. <coughs> So I'm going to do it one more time. You will also see that I also removed the two little uh, valve lockers and they're still pressure on the spring so when I remove the, the bolt on the other side then you will hear it click, ping, and the spring will um, damage the camera and all the other parts will fall behind the cupboard, so we have to take care of that problem. And I bought this tool, but it doesn't fit, so I had to get all kinds of um, <coughs> adapters and rings, these, to make it work finally. There's the spring, there's the round plate. And there's the valve. You can just push it out. This is a pretty good head, but they can be stuck a little bit. So now we're going to do a new valve. I have to put the tool in again. And use these two rings. It's very unhandy, but I have no other option than to do it this way. Besides that, I have to be very careful not to damage anything. This is made of copper, so you can't really hurt anything, but still, everything is very fragile. And it takes a little bit of practice. To get everything in the right place and then put the pressure on the spring bang well that was a bad sound because that meant that I the ring was stuck behind the aluminium okay I don't know if you can see it but if we get some a little bit closer
That's number one. And that's number two. I'm keeping my hand in front of it. Because they will jump away. In an unreachable place. Like always. This thing is from metal, so everything is very fragile. And you have to be very careful now because you have to count all the parts and put them in your special little boxes, which have to be numbered, otherwise, you get lost. Some parts are in interchangeable, like the sp springs and the little, little metal things, but the valves they should be put back at the same place they came from. This is the first valve. That was that cylinder. Um, now I have to determine which is the front side. And you can take out this is another option you can put them back like this so you remember what order they are in I already removed the, uh, the shims and put them in little boxes and measured them so easy does it Simple as that.